with that down, let's go on to our final main topic today. And our final main topic today gets sent in to us from Kyle Starr, who writes, So, I was looking up showtimes for the Endgame quote-unquote re-release, and not one theater in an hour of me is even showing the movie this Friday. With the movie not coming back to all theaters, isn't it pointless to even show an end credit scene and deleted scenes? I feel like it's a bad idea to have a chance of putting a sour taste in the fans' mouths if the credits slash deleted scenes stink and fans spend more money to see it again, especially when it's only showing in some theaters. What do you think? All right, thanks a lot for writing that in, Kyle. And you know, Rob, I have felt for a little while something like what Kyle's kind of suggesting here, that this whole thing about the re-release, which we've said a million times, it's not a re-release, folks. Maybe it's expanding. First of all, I've been hearing from a ton of people, Rob, say I've just been assuming they would expand how many theaters. Because right now it's now it's under a thousand theaters. I figured they'd expand it back up to maybe 13, 1400 theaters. But I've been hearing from a lot of people like Kyle saying, uh, just checked with my theater and they're not putting it back on any screen. So I, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if they're doing an expanded release or not. But I always felt when they first mentioned this, I felt like there might be a little bit of a risk here that they could be taking a chance that this could actually backfire on them a little bit. And, and, and here's what I mean by that. Could there be a possibility, number one, it's not a question of, of if, it's a question of how many. As we mentioned in the last topic, there are people, Rob, who are going to be going to this this weekend still expecting that it's going to be a slightly altered version of the movie. It's still out. All you have to do is jump on social media and see there are still people out there because of the way the information was disseminated originally who are going under the pretext that they think they're going to see extra scenes in the movie. They're not. That's going to bother some people. Now, granted, Disney never said they were putting in or changing the movie. They were always very clear. But the way it's got reported, it makes it sound like a new extended version of the movie. There are going to be some people that get upset about that. Yeah. Number two, I've heard from a, not a lot of people. Let me admit that right up front. Not a lot of people. But there are a few people I've heard from who express that they were a little bit upset. The fact some in these mostly people who've seen the movie five, six times in theaters. And it's like, uh, why? I, I. I bought five, I went five or six times. Why didn't you show it to me? Why are you making me go back again when it's still in its original theatrical release to, if I want to see that stuff? Like, why am I being punished? I had one guy ask, why am I being punished for supporting your movie early? Why didn't you show it to us then? Why are you only putting that out now? And then the third thing which got brought up in this message is, I think there were a lot of people who were assuming that this movie would be back on 3,000 screens and they're not, but we just heard from somebody that they're not going to even have a chance to go see this new bonus footage, even though they want to, and they're not going to chance. So they're also left going, well, I paid and went to go see the movie a couple times already when it was playing here. So now not only are you making me go to see it again, if I want to, you're not even giving me a chance to go back and see. So only a few people a few people, lots of people will, but only a certain number of people are going to get even the opportunity. Rob, we are living in a day and age in our fandom culture that everybody is just looking for an excuse to feel outraged, right? <laughs> even for the things we love the most, people are just dying to be outraged. We all are. We all are. I'm not pointing my finger at anybody. We all are. That's what we as film fans do. It's a bad trait that we have and it's a bad habit that we have, but we do it. Do you think at the end of the day, Rob, that this is going to be this whole re-release thing? Is this going to be something that pays off? Or do you think maybe it has potential doing more harm than good? What do you think? Uh, look, to me, it's just a shameless. It's they're, they're, they're going for the title, John. They want they want to surpass Avatar. That's what they're trying to do. I, I think this is sort of a, a half-assed way to do it. <laughs> I think they should have just said it. Like, hey, we want to be to uh, Avatar. Help us out. Go see the movie again. Start an ad campaign. But they're promising. They're making a promise that was already ambiguous at first. They didn't come out and send out a press release. Here's what you're going to definitively get. They allowed a lot of sites to say, ooh, there's going to be a new version of the movie coming out, which there's not. They're just adding things at the end. And those things, it's basically a commercial now for the home video release right i mean call it what it is and and i i'm a little disappointed 
because usually Marvel's so good on their showmanship. This seems to be something they threw together at the last minute as some kind of a Hail Mary to, to surpass Avatar and get the number one box office hit of all time, at least on paper. Uh, from initial glance, and I, I just think that they, yeah, they look. I love the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, I love Kevin Feige. You know, I love everything they do. But, but this seemed a little beneath them. This is, and maybe they, maybe it wasn't them so much as it was Disney, like saying we got to do something, we got to make this. It just seems not as, it's not up to par. Yeah, and I, you know, I said last week, I said there's just look. I don't have a problem with it. I don't. But I said. You got to admit, at least feels like a little sketchy, just a little bit sketchy. And here's the other funny thing, too, Rob, that that's really kind of been itching on my brain is that, OK, let's say Disney really wanted to push to try to get it to be to beat Avatar Avatar, which is their movie now. And, you know, they're just going to re-release Avatar before Avatar 2 comes out <laughs> so they can do the thing once again. Number one film of all time. Come out now and see they, they're going to do that. Play that game anyway. And then probably three years later, go back and visit the greatest accomplishment in comic book movie history with Endgame, the super duper re-release. And they're just going to play this game of hot scotch with themselves anyway, long term. I, here's what I think. If they were going to do this and do this, um, we're going to add something to the movie, then do it right. Why not go? You know what, guys? Starting uh, July 3rd, see Endgame again. In a totally new way. The movie is now 10 minutes longer with two ad additional extra scenes. We're going to show you the gag reel. For those of you who want to come and support the movie, we're going to show you the gag reel. We're going to show you three deleted scenes post credits as opposed to six. And, and then you put Luis in the promotional trailer for this new yeah. re-release. You are then giving your fans a legitimate reason to come back to the theater and watch it again if they weren't already planning on it anyway. You're giving them a legitimate reason to come back and see it. You're going to get everybody excited again, and you are going to make a buttload of new money. They chose instead, I think, I think your observation is the best one I've heard so far, Rob, which is this little re-release isn't really about trying to get the record from Avatar. This re This re-release is about promoting the material you we're gonna get on the home video release. Yeah. And, and I think that's the, I, I hadn't even considered that, but I think you're absolutely right. I think that's a brilliant observation. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? So now that we're getting a clear picture of what this is all about, do you think there's a possible, do you still think this was a good idea by Disney? Or do you think maybe, hey, a company that usually does everything so right, this is one of those missteps. Do you think maybe this has more potential for backlash? I do think whatever, it doesn't matter either way. Jump down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.